You're listening to 7-Minute Stories with Aaron Califato. I'm Corey. I coordinate the podcast. We've decided to do a weekly t-shirt giveaway. All you have to do for a chance to win is subscribe, rate, and write a review on Apple Podcasts. If you don't have Apple Podcasts, you can share a favorite episode on social media using the hashtag 7-Minute Stories. Make sure and listen as I'll announce a winner each week. Thanks for all the reviews and hashtags, guys. Colleen's our winner this week. I already reached out and she'll be getting her shirt in about a week. Thanks again. Now, on to the story. This episode, Heard It Through the Grapevine. Before I tell you about this very important moment in my high school career, I got to introduce you to the band. Now, I called around to all my bandmates prior to recording the story for you, my former bandmates, <laughs> excuse me, and I can't tell you, I don't remember the name of the band, bottom line, but here's what I do know. It was short-lived, but it will live in infamy because it was one of the best experiences of my life. Let me introduce you to the band. On drums, we have Ken. Ken, with his double bass pedal, kind of mirroring Neil Peart, rest in peace, and Mike Portnoy, the progressive rock drumming gods. He was an incredible rock drummer. He could throw jazz fusion in there. He's a beautiful musical mind. He's the producer of this podcast. That's how far back Ken and I go, okay? He's a trumpet player. The guy's a musical genius. He led with rhythm. And now you got, over on my right, Anthony on bass. He's got the look of a band. Here's a guy that no matter what band he's in, you look at him and you go, oh yeah, that's a musician. That's a guy that can carry a rhythm. He's rocking with his squire bass. He can fit in and drive any rhythm with his consistency. Loved having him. And he's one of the oldest and the best friends that I've ever had. That's Anthony over on bass. And then singing, we have Gabe. <laughs> Gabriel a good friend of mine way back from elementary school, and he's our singer. No instruments, just the mic. Just the mic. Led Zeppelin style, right? He's just, he's he's like Robert Plant. He's just singing from his heart, the chords wrapped around his arm, and, and he's got, he has an interpretation in his voice. He's a sensitive guy. He's got perspective. That's the band. We remain nameless, but that's the lineup. And these are the guys in 10th grade in high school at Medina High School. We got together and we decided to audition for Spice. Now, Spice, I believe it stood and still stands for Students Participating in Creative Entertainment. I think that's what it is. So we selected a song, a classic, heard it through the grapevine. And we played sort of a Credence Clearwater Revival version. And for this talent show, you had to audition. This wasn't a joke. You can just walk off the street and say, hey, listen, I can balance a pigeon on my finger. Like, this wasn't a joke. You had to audition, and people got rejected. It was very heated. If you didn't get in, I remember there was a lot of, a lot of conflict. People, friends that you knew in different bands, and if they didn't get, out, get in, there was a lot of shit talking. You know, like, wait, you didn't get in? That's bullshit. It's political. So you never know who was going to get in. But we went and performed, heard it through the grapevine. Bong, da da Oh, there's Anthony on the bass. Don't know, nah, no, Ken. Don't, don't, know, don't. On the bass, there you go. Don't know, nah. There's Gabe. I bet you're wondering how I know. Right? He's going. And here I go with the guitar. Okay, the whole thing, we kill the audition. Kill it. So now we're in. And we have our slot. And we know we get this moment to perform. And I got to tell you, I remember... The night before Spice, I mean, it was a sleepless night. I went over Anthony's house and we just talked all night about what what happens if we get a record deal? Are their agents going to be there? What are we going to tell our parents when we go on tour? We got to plan our careers. We knew the next day was going to change our life forever. The adrenaline was pumping through us. We couldn't sleep at night. It took us all the way through the morning. And then we drive to school together. We don't even have to go to class because we get to go right back to the auditorium and see all the other participants in Spice. And there, there's Ken. I see Ken and there, there's Gabe. And then we all get together and we do a little rehearsal. And then we wait and we wait. And patience is the hardest thing because then the show starts probably sometime around a little bit before noon and we hear the music and we're somewhere in the middle of the act and it keeps going quicker and quicker. And next thing you know, 
all four of us are behind the curtain and they're about to announce us and it's dark behind the curtain and you can hear the crowd and the curtain rises and there we are this four piece rock band and I see a sea of people, hundreds of people, students and peers, everybody I know out there, teachers. And this is it. The moment has arrived. We're performing in Spice. And then I hear it. Dun, 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 dun. And then we're off to the races. And then time, I got to explain this to you. Time stands still in moments like this. It's like a montage in a movie. And I can hear and I'm playing my part, but I'm also able to see with like a third eye. It's like an almost like an LSD trip. I'm so like a third eye. I'm looking out and I'm seeing my bandmates. I'm seeing the smile on Ken's face as he's he's crushing the hi hat and hitting that snare. I look over at Anthony, smiling at my friend that I've known for so long. I see Gabe singing his heart out. You know, I I see myself just playing and just and bending the strings to my will on the guitar, and we're making music. And I look out and I see a couple of girls that I have crushes on and they're literally looking at me and they're cheering. They're cheering. They don't see the five foot five, 110 pound sophomore in high school. I don't think so. I think in that moment, they see a rock God. And I'm just taking that moment and the song slowly winds down and now it's time for my solo. And I start ripping the solo. I mean, as hard as I kid the strings with all the feeling. I hit the cry baby wah wah. And then if the solo wasn't enough, everyone's screaming. Our lead singer Gabe goes rogue. Guy throws down the microphone, runs behind us and starts climbing up the wall. It's a brick wall. It's like bricks sticking out a little bit so you could actually put your feet on them. This kid scales the brick wall behind us and climbs all the way to the rafters. Now the students are sh they're shrieking. Teachers don't know what to do. They should they call security. This is a health hazard. We don't know what to do either, but we know what this is. This is a rock and roll moment. This is rock and roll rebellion. And we embraced it. And somehow Gabe got down from the wall and we stopped playing and the cheers rang out. Curtain comes down. And that's the end of our performance. But in high school, there's like a 24 hour period, right? Where you live in that moment and then it is fleeting because I know for all of us, the next day we came to school and, you know, we found out there's no agents in the crowd and no one got signed to a concert. And no one's on tour and we're back to first period or homeroom, wherever we went. And I noticed when I walked around the hallways, those same girls, those same people who were looking at me and recognized me from the day before it was sort of like the same old. They had sort of a high school amnesia. But this band that we had, and that day, and that year, for Spice, in our memories, we'll always have it. We'll always be rock stars. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed this week's story. I just wanted to take a couple of seconds to tell you how important it is to me and how committed I am to making sure that 7 Minute Stories is an authentic space where you and I connect through the art of storytelling without any dependency on ads or advertisements or anything like that. That we make this thing an 100% listener supported podcast. And you can be a huge part of making that possible by going to 7minutestoriespod.com. That's the number 7, minutestoriespod.com. And when you're there, click the merch tab on the website and buy yourself an awesome t-shirt or an amazing hoodie. And I know we're going to keep adding more stuff to that merchandise page. So keep checking back with it. I appreciate you all, and I'll talk to you next week.